sometimes the only information we have to go on to write an equation is knowing just any old two points on our line. So for example, sometimes we want to do something like write an equation of the line through the points 5, negative 1, and 2, 7. We don't have a form that we can just write down directly given two points. Instead, we're going to use the point-slope form in this circumstance. How are we going to do that? We don't know the slope. Oh, but we have a formula for figuring out the slope, and that's what we're going to do. Remember that the slope is calculated by taking the change in y over the change in x. So in this case, I'm going to call this point 2 and this point 1. So I'm going to take the coordinate of this point minus the coordinate of this point. So the change in y will be 7 minus negative 1. The change in x will be 2 minus 5. So I'll have 7 minus negative 1 is 8. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. My slope is going to be negative 8 thirds. Okay, and now this is the trickiest part because it's something that we get to choose. We can choose either point to write down the equation. I'm going to choose point number 1, and so y minus my given y was negative 1 equals the slope we found was negative 8 thirds times x minus our given x was 5. And that's the equation of our line. Now some things to note. Our first note is we should check by putting in the other point. That is, we should make sure that the point 2 comma 7 really is on that line we wrote down. Let's see. I'm going to plug in y equals 7. So 7 plus 1 is 8. And on the other side I'm going to plug in x equals 2. So negative 8 thirds times 2 minus 5 is negative 8 thirds times negative 3. And that really does work out to positive 8. So those really are the same. That point really is on our line. We would have gotten a different equation if we had chosen the other point in step 2. What we chose to find was the line with slope negative 8 thirds through the point 5, negative 1. The other choice we could have made would be to write the equation of the line with slope negative 8 thirds through 2, 7, which would have been y minus 7 equals negative 8 thirds x minus 2. Notice those equations look different from each other, but we're claiming they describe the same line. To see that these describe the same line, we can rewrite both equations in either slope-intercept form or in standard form. It's easier to get slope-intercept form. For a given line, there's only one equation in standard form. There's only one equation in slope-intercept form. But there are lots of different equations in point-slope form. There's one for every point on the line. So let's just check this out with this example. With the first version, first we distribute. Uh, 8 thirds times 5, I'm just going to write 40 thirds. And then we subtract 1 from both sides. And we get y is negative 8 thirds x plus 37 thirds. You're welcome to use your calculator for that arithmetic if you'd like. 
with the second version of the equation. Right, we've got y minus 7 is negative 8 thirds x minus 2. First we distribute y minus 7 is negative 8 thirds x plus 16 thirds. Add 7 to both sides and we get y equals negative 8 thirds x plus 37 thirds. Again, you can use your calculator for that arithmetic if you'd like. So the point slope forms were different. If we rewrite in slope intercept form, we get the same answer either way. Now if I ask you for the, equ the equation for this line, this is a correct answer, this is a correct answer, this is also a correct answer. You can give your answer in any of those forms that you like.